Living room conversation. If you're live in a room, isn't it a living room? Howdy, I'm Joshua Fields Milburn. And I'm Ryan Nicodemus, and together we are The Minimalists. Welcome back to Living Room Conversations. We're here in my living room in Los Angeles, and we're answering your questions. We'll answer your future question on a future episode, so leave it in the comments below. And today's question, Ryan, hmm. is from Barbara. What do you believe is the main cause of our society's need for an excess of stuff? Hmm. Now, if I were to rephrase this, I would just say, why do people consume so much? Yeah. And, and I think it's fascinating, Ryan. I saw this um, study where they compared our, pri our closest primate ancestors, chimpanzees and bonobos. Mm -hmm. And what's fascinating is that as little kid chimpanzees, so young chimpanzees and bonobos, both share their, their goods and their food and anything they're sort of given. And, uh, they especially uh, tested this out with food because it's sort of the most precious resource for them. And so you give young chimpanzees and young bonobos a bunch of bananas. Mm -hmm. And what do they do? They share them with their friends and their family and strangers even. They just share their bananas. Hmm. And they shortly bifurcate though. The bonobos, they continue to share throughout the rest of their lives. Mm. And in fact, even when human researchers, they... Um, they try to coerce them or coax them into like being stingy. Mm. They go out of their way. Like what they did is they um, they put them behind a wall, like with a door and uh, with a bunch of bananas, and they made like one of their friends sort of just sit outside and look at the 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 chimp with the or the, the bonobo with all the bananas. Mm -hmm. And the bonobo went to the door and opened the door and let his friend in, right? Oh, wow. They want to share. Yeah. Chimpanzees when they get older, they will fight you to the death mm. for their food. For the hoard of bananas. Right. And I guess the question is, what are we? Are we the bonobos? Are we chimps? Are we chimps? And I think yeah. maybe the answer is we get to decide. We're human, so we get to decide how much do we want to share and how much do we want to hoard for yeah. ourselves. Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, hunt, the hunter-gatherer situation that our ancestors used to be in, it wasn't that long ago. Mm -hmm. So I think there is, this, uh, there is this gathering mentality that has been passed down to us and that we still have. And what I think is we have corporations, uh, we have economies mm -hmm. that take advantage of that gathering mentality that that we still have in there that can be triggered very easily mm -hmm. so and, and make us feel like because gathering was gather i will gather enough for me and and the people in my immediate circle mm -hmm. but now it's like corporations saying and, and advertisers doing a, a phenomenal job of making us feel inadequate like it's never going to be enough yeah they they, they play on this scarcity mindset that uh again our ancestors had not that long ago so you know maybe we haven't quite evolved past that scarcity or past that gathering mindset. It's there's still something in there that get, gets triggered when a, a situation of scarcity is presented to us. The other thing too is, you know, the society we live in now comes with a lot of stresses, mm. comes with a lot of anxiety, comes with a lot of distractions, and a lot of companies they will sell you this lifestyle that's going to free you of all your problems, that is going to make you be a something that. Uh, you can live a happier, more, you can live your best life with these products or with these things in your lives. If and, I buy your product, I'll look just like the person in your Instagram ad. Yeah. And somehow, somehow owning a thing or owning a, the, the right amount of things like that is going to all of a sudden make you happy. And it's really easy to buy into because we love, as human beings, we love the easy solutions. Mm. We don't like the hard solutions. Right. So when we see... I want to take a pill. Yeah. So when we see an advertisement that uh, presents us this very, you know, ostensibly easy solution, if you just had enough money to get X, Y, and Z, then you'll be happy. That sounds so much better than, you know, working on your health or working on relationships or committing to those passion projects that you've been putting off for a long time, mm -hmm. uh, or, or giving back to the community. These are the things that are actually going to make us happy, uh, but it's, it's tempting to not take the bait when we see these easy solutions presented. So I agree with you. It seems to me like what, what you're talking about here is 
We consume so much because we're often looking for shortcuts. And it could be a shortcut to the next dopamine hit. Mm -hmm. It could be us looking for a shortcut toward meaning. But of course, we rarely find meaning around the next purchase or, or after the, the, the cash register dings its silent victory. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, we feel an emptiness. Yeah. We, we buy the thing that we think is going to make us happy and then it actually widens the void and then we just repeat the cycle. And so why do people consume so much? Is because we, in a way, we're sort of completists. We, we mm. want to feel more complete, but we have to realize that that one more thing is not gonna make me any more human. And the nice thing about being a human is we can choose to be a lot more like the bonobos than being more like the, the chimpanzees. Mm. And if we make that decision, we're actually gonna feel a lot more rewarded by, by contributing more, by giving, by caring about the community. It doesn't mean we don't take care of ourselves, we obviously do, but when we have enough for ourselves, we identify what enough is, we can also contribute beyond ourselves. And that's a lot more meaningful than buying another cheap plastic trinket from Walmart. Yeah, absolutely. All right, y'all. Thanks for joining us for Living Room Conversations. If you have a question, leave it in the comments below. And Ryan and I are getting ready to go on tour. We're doing a live version of The Minimalist Podcast in a city near you. You can find all the details over at theminimalists.com slash tour and find your closest city over there as well. All right, y'all. Love people. Use things. We'll see you next time. The Minimalists.